Okay, so karibu tujifunze kutengeneza applications za Android. So kuna hii hapa application inaitwa Loan Management Information System. So niki open. Okay, so now hii ni login panel ambapo user ataingiza username and password, okay? So for example nikibonyeza help. So hii inaweza kawa ni end user license agreement, okay? So nikibonyeza cancel na kwani nimeclose. So niki just ku bonyeza open now na kwani nimefungua end user license agreement. So hapa na kwani nimeclose, okay? So for example nikibonyeza commit to login. Okay, so username is required. For example username. So hii ni just incorrect username, okay? So for example now we just I commit so password is required okay so now for example this is the password when you click commit okay so application authenticating it incorrect username or password okay so invalid username or invalid password okay so now database ni msql okay so user for example now tuna login kwa kutumia user naitwa uh, for example arun okay so arun so username is national id so national id is this one okay and password and password is this one imefanya encryption kwa kutumia md5 okay so now tuna login kwa kutumia user anaitwa uh, huyu hapa so arun kumar okay so now we just open our android application okay so we login so for example our username is okay okay so now i uh, just select a password Okay. So now for then just I click log login. So authenticating welcome welcome Arun Kumar. Okay. So now he in just a dashboard. And dashboard in onesha just uh, uh, user loan information. Okay. So requested amount, tax collection, the direct charges, total charges, okay, cash taken, actual debt and remaining amount pamoja na loan status installments on progress. Okay. Okay, so now when I click uh, this option menu, so now I can log out, okay? So this current login user, Arun Komar, okay? So now he in action bar to go when I click, so navigation draw, he in navigation draw. So in navigation header and this navigation items, okay? When I click my installments, okay? So loading data and now data in a fetch. Current login user, so just information okay so hizi ni just installments okay so nikija katika database so nikija katika uh, installments okay so hizi ni just a uh, user installments okay so all loan installments that were installed you okay so now nikija katika application so current login user is no installments zake okay okay so when i just come to click logout so you have successful logout okay so when I come to click back, so no back action. Okay, so when I click again, so just login. So now, so just login to another user, Shirinishi Natatu. Okay, so 0006 as a username, right? And then the password, 1, 2, 3, for example, as a demo. When I click commit, so welcome Arjun. Okay, another user. Okay, so, so. Loan status are completed. So when I click installments, loading data, okay. So it's current installment, the user login. So when I click support, okay. So user can pick a program. For example, a problem is postpone loan duration and select. Then type message, for example. This is a message. Then I click commit. Sending then successful sent, okay. So when I come to database, okay. So database me host online kwa kutumia 00 web host. Okay, so uh, then I come to uh, message. So I click message. Okay, after clicking now, Zanka see postpone long duration as you see here. Okay, postpone long duration and status message is disapproved and message is blah 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 blah. Okay, so a user with national ID, for example, a user ID or username, I will, I will send it. Uh, message okay okay so now when i come to my android application send the same problem okay sending so the problem has already been sent so otherwise i just select another problem for example loan completion issues then i just retry okay done successful sent okay 
so when i come to database when i click browse to refresh okay another problem i'm going here okay loan completion issues and the status is disapproved okay so blah 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 this is a message and user id with this one okay okay so now log in so we just click user application okay so now you can ni responsive okay so now you click it action but to go okay so it has a navigation draw on using navigation items and then responsive okay so when you scroll down responsive when you click my instruments okay now load data na hizi ni data za current login user ambaye amefanya hizo installments okay na zenye ni responsive okay so when ni ki i turn my application okay so now bado ni responsive when i click home okay home responsive when ki geuza okay still responsive ina just kukubali okay okay so now objectives za video tutorial hii kwanza first one ta just to create a user interface so from your language ya xml okay so user interface for login page and loan installments and loan info okay so loan info ni hii hapa so hii ni loan information okay so loan installments when i click to my installments okay so in a load data na hizi ndo loan installments okay so hii ni just a user interface okay so another uh, task is to create a complaint page so complaint page is a support when i click support okay so now i can pick a problem okay for example i select it then i commit so here ni just a user interface na tunyenye tumia language ya xml okay so now we are going to design a grid system a grid system like a bootstrap grid system for example a grid system layout ni kama hii hapa so hii ni card view okay grid systems we are going to use a google fonts uh, and google icons a google icons ni hizi hapa so hizi ni google icons and google fonts ni hizi ya fonti font family okay we are going to create a material dialog for example when i click log out okay then when i uh, i check help okay so this is material dialog and is user interface kutumia tatumia xml okay let me close it okay so now at the back end we just uh, use java sql or php so java for back end programming okay so for example user and i enter a username for example okay then 0003 okay so after then user and i just going is a password okay when i click login so to process he request to to me back end ya java that me na php kwa ajili ya ku check kufanya authentication ya user kwenye database okay so user kwenye database ya my sql as well unaona my sql ni here okay so users ni hawa so just ku fetch user from the database na kuja ku check kama user kwenye database yupo na kuweza kumruhusu kuweza ku login ni tayotumika ni php so php is the application programming interface itaka connect between application and android pamoja na database okay so now we are going to create a database program to compute loan for example a user ame request kiasi fulani cha fedha atakatwa uh, uh, tax collection it uh, 10% uh, direct charge is 10% of requested amount uh, total charges 10% then plus 10% then itakuwa ni total charges okay then cash taken here upon actual debt and remain amount after all installations any long starters so is information that uh, we need to create a database program to uh, perform database programming to compute a loan for that reason tunaenda kutumia concept moja inaitwa trigger okay so we are going to use trigger so trigger for example we have a trigger trigger name is compute then we come to compute our uh, our loan uh, our loan information okay for example actual debit how to compute in stored amount how to compute uh, uh, what status and then how to compute uh, uh, total installments how to compute uh, uh, direct cost of loan how to compute tax collection of 10% and so on so this is a trigger function okay Okay, so now okay another concept is we are going to 
Java, we are going to use Java to get current login user. So fetch data of current login user. For example, when we use our current status is installment on progress. So another user akija ku log in atambiwa installment yake imekuwa completed. Kwa kila mtu akiingia anakutana na vinavyo mus. So nini kinachotumika hapo? Kinatumika Java back end. Katika Java ni concept inaitwa session management. So session ni just like a PHP. Kwa PHP kuna session, okay? So session ni kuwezesha kitu kinachoitwa data, data persistent. Data persistent kwenye web development data persistent unaweza ka achieve kwa kutumia session au cookie okay session au cookie so katika what android tunatumia shared preferences so shared preferences inatumika kuweza ku achieve session management okay so session management, management is all about data persistent okay then we are going to process login as we see login and fragment binding so fragment binding na hapa uh, ni kile cha click my installments inafungua my instruments. So my instruments hii ni fragment, okay? When I click home, inafungua home. Na hii home just ni fragment and support inafungua support. And support this is a fragment. So fragments zote hizi tunazibind kwenye main activity kwa kutumia Java, okay? Progress dialog, progress dialog for example when I click home, okay, loading data. So this is a fragment dialog. Progress dialog, sorry. So notification dialog, for example, incorrect username and password are also notification. Okay, shared preferences uh, for user persistent. When I close this application, reopen again. Okay, so no login again. No login again. Kwa nini kusabu tumetumia shared preferences. Shared preferences yoni session management for uh, kum remember user pala na login. So trigger trigger ndo yoyo ni misha ilize, okay so table relationship table relationship for example when i come to my database here okay when i click to my database is long okay when i just navigate to designer so access more and just click to designer okay designer so you can see here in just the many to many relationships sorry one to many relationship okay so schemas i have uh, four schemas message then employee customers pamoja na installments na zote zimekuwa interconnected so how to join table and how to write a query to perform a what query summarization single query multiple output okay tutakuja kuona hiyo okay so how to perform table relationship kwa ku base na primary key pamoja na frame key okay table indexing indexing okay so we are going to perform indexing for example when i click customers okay customer table then when i click structure okay you can see we have full name is index okay national id is index and is prim is primary key and added by is index so we have 1 2 3 we have three index okay So we are going to see how to perform table indexing to optimize query. Okay, so volley and retrofit library ambao ni library kwa ajili ya kufanya database connection, okay? And then in final, we are going to see how to host database online. So database currently our database ina run kwenye local host. As you see RS here, RS is local host and then PHP my admin. So currently ina run kwenye local host. So no longer now we are going to use this open source framework that we are going to use to host our database okay this is zero zero web host okay so our database is known as this one this one is this information just click php my admin so php my admin database online here atakuja kuangalia kwenye address now database is online okay na hii just uh, php my admin okay na just is in the customer employee instruments moja na message Now we're going to host you online. So we are going to do that, okay? Okay, so now another concept is upload the application play store and it's very simple how to upload the application play store. Okay, we are going to see how to generate APK bundle and to release our application on play store. Okay?